All right, guys, we're going to um, today we're going to be working on taking notes for our um, our researching for our famous Californian biography project. So what we have, um, what I did is I went into what I filled out yesterday, my biography project planning sheet. So yesterday you should have written who you were going to research about along with three reliable sources you found using yesterday's video to help guide you to do that. So you're going to go in and you're going to open up that biography planning sheet, go down to your sources, and then one at a time, you're going to read through the sources and take some notes. So you're, you have three days to do this. So I don't know if you want to do one source a day or just knock them all out in one day. So it's kind of up to you. You could also find more than three sources if you wanted to. So three is the um, minimum expectation, but you could do more if you wanted. OK, so I'm just going to kind of remind you guys our note taking process, which we've been really using all year. So you should be pretty familiar with how to take notes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. One of my sources. And I am modeling with Joe DiMaggio. So now you can do this on a piece of paper in front of you, but for the purposes of this video, for you to see what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use a doc I made. So we know that when we take notes in class, we've been using this um, T table where this side is a little bit uh, more narrow. Um, and then this side is where we keep our notes. This side, I would do page numbers or headings and things like that or notes to myself. So um, source one, I'm going to go ahead and remind myself I'm going to copy and paste that right there so I know what source one is. Now, if you're doing this on paper, you obviously don't want to write down this web address. It's like super long. So just write down um, factmonster.com on your paper. That way you know, because it's important to know where you got your notes from, right? So when we're taking notes, we want to think about important parts of um, what we read. What is information that we want to make sure that people gather from? Um, we're going to teach someone about this. What kind of information should be included when we teach someone about our figure? Um, this is also a biography. So if we think about how biographies work, they usually include a little bit about the person's childhood, their adult life, and then the end of their life if that is relevant. It's very important that we include why this person is so notable or so famous, right? What did they do? That's what the most of our information is going to be about. It's going to really focus on the things they did to make themselves famous or notable or important. It's like, okay, but we definitely want to address all areas of their life. So let's see. Joe, Joseph Paul DiMaggio, so that's his full name. So it gives me um, the date that he was born and the date that he died. Doesn't give me exactly his birthday. So maybe I'll go find that when I continue to read. American baseball player. He was born in Martinez, California. Born. One of the most charismatic of 20th century sports figures, Jolton Joe joined the New York Yankees of the American League in 1936 and quickly rose to stardom, winning the league's batting titled, title with a 381 average in his fourth season. That was a lot of information. So that is a little bit more about his adult life. Um, maybe I'll separate that out. Well, baseball player is too. So let's see. Um, a nickname. Bolton. Oh. He played for the New York Yankees. Started in 1930s. Notice I'm not writing complete sentences. These are notes, right? Okay. Now, if you are going to read New York NY and not know that that means New York, then you should probably write out New York, right? So you abbreviate and you shorten things um, that you know you can make sense of. You're the one that has to make sense of these notes, really. No one else. 
everyone else can read these notes and have no idea what you're talking about. If you read your notes and know what you're saying, that's all that's important. So you write as much as you or as little as you need to. All right, where was I? So I joined that. One American League batting title. Um, in fourth season, average was 81. Okay, so again, you just write whatever um, makes sense to you. I know that AL is going to mean American League. I know that this number is a batting average. Let's see. In a career interrupted by World War II, the center fielder became the celebrated epitome of grace and humility. Not sure what that means, but I do know that he played center field. So I'll write that. Not a lot about his childhood in this one, I notice. In 1939, 1941, and 1947, he was American League's most valuable player. And in 1941, the Yankee Clipper established one of baseball's best known records by hitting safely in 56 consecutive games. Okay. So he has another nickname, doesn't he? All right, we got several information. So he won MVP of the American League in 1939, 1941, 1947. Another name was the Yankee Clipper. Um, so 1941 record. Oops. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted, but um, 1941 record for hitting safely in 56 consecutive games. Consecutive means games in a row. So he for 56 games, he he had a base hit basically, which is pretty pretty good. Um, so then there's more. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me, but I just wanted to kind of um, show you and remind you that notes look like this, right? They're not complete sentences unless they need to be. Like you make your notes make sense to you because you're going to later on look at these notes and turn them into information. The reason why we don't want to copy complete sentences from the text that we read, so we're not, I'm not copying and pasting here, is because remember we talked about that's called plagiarism. That's when we are taking other people's words and using them as their own. Now, anybody can say that Joe DiMaggio's nickname was Jolton Joe. Anybody can say that he was born in Martinez, California, because these are facts. But if I copy the way that they are said, and I copy the sentences being used, that's not my own words. So I want to give those facts and give that information, but I want to make it my own. I want to do it and organize it and say it in a way that is something I'm not copying from someone else, okay? So just be mindful when you take your notes that you're doing that and you're not copying sentences. Be mindful that you're not writing too much. Make it short, make it, make it easy to understand. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do this for all of your sources. Again, you can do it on a piece of paper. If for some reason you really do want to use um, a Google Doc like I am, because it's better for you to type than you may. All I did was I created a table in a new Google Doc like this. Now notice over here, I didn't really write anything. Later on, when I am organizing my writing, I might use this space right here to kind of write down some notes, like if it's about childhood, if it's about baseball, things like that. So I'll kind of model up that in a later video. All right, so get that research done, guys, and enjoy.